darkness has to bow, confusion has its final hour. Well, good morning, friends, and welcome to the Thursday Three. One of my favorite lines in Rudyard Kipling's poem, If, is this one. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same, and then the poem ends, then yours is the earth and everything in it. In other words, how much do we let our triumphs in life or our failures in life define us and define how we see ourselves. You see, the world has a very superficial way of viewing us. You know, you're either a winner or you're a loser. You either got the trophy or you didn't. But of course, there's a thousand different ways to define who the winner is. Is it by who's got the most money? Who's got the best looks? Who got the best grade? Who got the who did the There's a million different ways, different dimensions by which we measure success. And so what can happen to us is we can actually think, hey, I'm pretty much all that. I'm I'm, I'm a somebody when we have a win. And when we have a lose or a failure, we, we fill ourselves with shame. And I'm a loser and I'm a nothing. When you define yourself that way, And when you define life in one plane, in one dimension, like that, you're making an idol. You're committing idolatry. And you're guaranteeing you're setting yourself up for a life of misery. Because you might be the winner now, but that doesn't last forever. You might be the failure now, but that doesn't have to last forever. Listen to what it says in the Bible in 1 Samuel. God sees not as man sees. For man looks the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Psalm 51.17 says, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. So what is God looking for? What does God accept and delight in? A broken heart and a contrite heart, one that is willing to admit when it's wrong and it's broken things and messed up, willing to admit when it fails. In the Septuagint, it says a humble heart. And I love both of those. A humble heart God will not despise. A contrite heart God will not despise. So when things are going well and the world's telling me I'm great, I need to remember to humble my heart. When things are going bad and I feel like a loser and the world is telling me I'm a nothing or a loser, I need to have that contrite heart like, hey, if I did screw up, I own it, I admit it. If I did wrong, I confess it. But then I realize that doesn't define who I am. And what God cares about is, what do I do next? And what he cares about is that I come to him with a humble heart. So how's it going for you right now? Are you feeling pretty good? Or are you feeling kind of like a a loser? Either way, let's start this day with prayer. Let's pray. Father God, I take a moment to think about how I see myself this day. What I'm holding on to as my identity. I know that what matters most, though, is my identity in you. Jesus has saved me and made me a new creation. And what you care about most is not what people think of me. What you care about is my heart. Help me to care less about what people think of me and care more about whether I'm acting as your ambassador to the people I meet. Would you pour your love through me to the people I encounter this day. I give the day ahead to your keeping 
and I pray in the name of my good and faithful Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me. As you can see there on the right, there's a bunch of things that you can check out for other resources. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.